Good evening. Three nights ago, the Plover Police Department made an arrest in a 17 month old case. Krista Cypher's family hasn't heard or seen from her since March of 2017. And on Friday night, police arrested her husband, Jason Cypher, accusing him of killing Krista and hiding her body. Newswatch 12's Dakota Sherrick went to Cypher's first court appearance. She joins us live from Portage County with more details tonight. Dakota, good evening. Lane, Jason Cypher waited a week before reporting his wife missing a year ago. He claims that it was normal for Krista to leave for a couple days at a time without getting in touch. And he says the last time he saw her was at their former home here in Plover right behind me. But in a criminal complaint, police detail why they believe Jason killed Krista and what evidence they have despite not finding her body. It's a case of deception. Today, the prosecution argued that Jason Cipher has lied throughout the investigation into his wife, Krista Cipher's disappearance. It's a case of going to extreme measures to thwart responsibility. According to the criminal complaint, Jason Cipher claimed the last time he saw Krista was at their home in Plover in the afternoon on March 13th, 2017. He said he left to run errands, and by the time he got back that evening, she was gone. Cipher reported her missing a week later, saying she had taken her purse, phone and wallet, but not her car. Multiple witnesses in the case mentioned that Krista wanted a divorce and was having an affair. One of Krista's children told police Jason Cipher did not want a divorce. In this case, it's probably the weakest case I've seen in years. Cipher's attorney, Gary Kryshak, believes police do not have enough evidence for a case against Cipher. I assume somebody had found a body. The only thing that my client and I didn't know about this criminal complaint was that supposedly he bought garbage bags that they couldn't find in a search. But by using the GPS records on Cypher's car to track his movements, investigators believe they have a case. A detective found surveillance video of Cypher purchasing garbage bags from a Menards the day Krista went missing. And Aaron police say Cypher never mentioned. On March 23rd, police also found an iPhone tied to Krista's number smashed inside an Aeropostale bag in a dumpster. Detectives observed video that showed the same type of car Cypher had been driving on the 13th, stopping near the dumpster for a few moments before driving away. The complaint says Cypher also made a stop near some other dumpsters three days after Krista's disappearance. The detective tracked where the garbage was taken and noted in surveillance video a long black plastic bag that looked like the size of a human body dumped from a garbage truck. Based on that information, police searched Cranberry Creek Landfill in Wisconsin Rapids, but did not find a body. A canine that specializes in detecting de decomposing human remains was also brought in to help with the investigation and search this home behind me. And the dog did signal it detected that scent in several areas, including a garbage bag full of women's clothes and in the bed of Cypher's truck. Cypher's bond was set at $750,000. He will be back in court September 10th. Live in Plover, Dakota Sherrick, Newswatch 12. Fascinating case that we expect to learn more details about as it progresses. Dakota, thank you very much.